Right, hiya. So, second video for the first lesson of sketching the, the inequalities. So, this one's to do with quadratics. So, we've got a, a U shaped graph. And I used to think that if it's less than f of x, it's below. If it's greater than f of x, it's above, which isn't ideal. So, let's have a look at this question here. So, if we have a look at x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. If I put it in poly, that gives me x is 1 and x is 3 as the roots. I know it crosses at plus 3. And just to make it harder for us, I know I've got to do it with a dashed line. So I know my roots are at 1 and 3, so the roots are on the right-hand side. So I just kind of do what I think it's going to look like. Remember, these are just sketches. There. So that there is 1, and that there is 3. I've got y is less than x squared minus 4x plus 3. So I have to decide where it is. Right, so let's try 0, 0, see if that works. So that'll tell us um, the bit that we want or the bit that we don't want. Right, so if I try 0, 0, what have I got? So I've got 0 is less than 0 squared minus 4 lots of nothing plus 3. So 0 is less than 3. Well, yeah, that's okay. 0 is less than 3. So it's this bit outside that I want. So everything uh, underneath the x squared graph, the blue dashed line, is what I want. And I shade. Now, it mentions it up here as a reminder. Shade the region that you don't want and clearly mark the region that you do want. Right, so I want the bit on the outside. So I actually don't want this part, which makes it look really, really weird, doesn't it? So I'm actually shading just inside the, the shape. So you might not like that. And I'm going to put an R for the bit that I do want. So you've got one for you, which I assume is the other, other way around. So have a go at that one. When we do it in class, I'll do it uh, now. So okay, well, I've got another example. So this one's got a couple. Oh, it's got on the right page. So this has got two of them. So let's have a look at the let's have a look at this one then. So x squared minus 4x minus 5 is 0. So that gives me roots are minus 1. So poly. So it gives me x is minus 1, x is 5. So I know that it's got a solid line, so that's easy to draw. So I know I've got something which goes like that. So that'd be minus 1. That'd be five. There. Right, so let's have a think about this one then. So let's think about zero, zero. So zero is greater than zero squared minus four lots of zero minus five. So zero is greater than or equal to minus five. Well, that's true. So inside is the bit that I want. So I want the inside bit. So I'm going to shade everything else. I use 0, 0 just because it's easy. Right, then we want y is less than 4. So that's easier to do. So that's going to be a dashed line. And then we'll do a line going across there at 4. I want, but now this is easy, this. I want below. Because if, if y is 0, 0 is less than 4. So that's easy, that one. That's 1 below. So I shade above. There. And as long as I do my region, show it with a big R, I can't go wrong. And I think that's the end. There's one question there for you to do. I think that's the end of the first lesson. Um, the other one's about cubits, I think. Oof, I'm not looking forward to that one. Right then, see you in a bit. Bye bye.